welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a really great day. Today we're doing a collective haul. I was looking through one of my beauty drawers and I had a whole bunch of unopened makeup and stuff that I've been hauling over the past like month or more and I thought to myself, um, I think it's time to do a haul. So that's what we're doing today. So most of the stuff I'm sharing with you guys is affordable. It's all like drugstore brands. Well, let's get into it. Do some haulage. All right, so let's head on over to Kmart and I picked up quite a few things from Kmart. First thing here is, and I went like multi, I go to Kmart at weird times and I take you guys, if you follow me on Snapchat, you guys know I go to Kmart for like weird things like toilet paper and then I come back with like a bunch of makeup. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, but this is the, this is a new mascara from Milani and I'm kind of holding it together because I did a first impression uh, get ready with me and I tried it. I'm actually wearing it right now. Lash Trifecta. Um, it lengthens, curls, and separates. So I'm really hoping that this is good. So far, just my first impressions, I do like it. I um, love the packaging on it. Really nice. So I like how you can really like get in there and get to the base of your lashes and really just wiggle that baby in there <laughs> and really just separate and get those lashes up 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 and away so i'm gonna keep testing that out but so far okay more stuff from kmart i actually just picked this up the other day and again this is another product of the first impression it might get ready with me for the look i'm wearing right now and this is markwin's is like who makes it and the brand it just says the color workshop so you guys remember around the holidays i picked up some of those limited edition eyeshadow palettes well they had this contour kit and it was only $4.99 so it comes with a little angled brush and actually the brush you guys is really good. I used it today and it blended the product really nicely. It's super soft. It's perfect for traveling and it is angled so you can contour and bronzer. Has a full sized mirror and it comes with three different powders. So you have your highlight, your blush and your contour. But I actually use this for my bronzer, this to contour and then the blush. <laughs> so they're actually really nice powders. Um, these two are completely matte from what I can tell and this one does have a little bit of shimmer But it looks matte on the skin. I'm actually wearing all three today And so far I really like it. So also from Kmart they had a display of the Milani uh, These are the Amore Metallics lip creams. I only picked up two of them because They're limited edition and I have the whole collection of the limited edition regular um, liquid to matte lipsticks and I love them, but they're limited edition. So I feel so guilty every time I wear them in a video or I mention it because you can't get them anymore. So it just really sucks, you know, raving matte. And this one here is chromatic addict. This is what the applicator looks like. I don't know if I'm going to get more of these. I don't know if you guys would like to see a review or not. That's chromatic addict. Look at that. So pretty. This one is really metallic. This one is not as metallic, but it's super pretty as well. And it's a really nice purple. So there's the purple one there and they smell really good. They smell just like the other Milani liquid lipstick. So if you love the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams, you're gonna love these. So I definitely recommend them. I also picked up some makeup remover wipes because I actually am running out. I ran out completely. So I got um, a pack of e.l.f. e.l.f. you can find at Kmart all the time. I see them there. And those are only three bucks. And then I wanted to try the Wet n Wild ones. These are the uh, Under the Sheets 25 Makeup Remover Towelettes. And actually, I really like these for removing swatches. So I'm going to use one right now. I like them. They do smell pretty strong of alcohol. I don't know if I would use these on my face. But I do like them for like removing swatches or lipstick. They seem to work really well so if you're on a tight budget and these are cruelty free they're only like two two ninety nine or two dollars and something so i really like them and i definitely recommend them as well picked up a couple more of these lipsticks from uh wet and wild you guys know i love these lipsticks and i haven't used them in forever and i needed a backup and a new one of raven raisin you guys know is one of my favorites oh I had to get a new one because the other one I had was like really old and it smelled weird and it looked weird so I tossed it. Uh, so I got a brand spanking new one and it's such a pretty color. It's like a vampy 
It's like a soft, vampy, purpley plum. So that's Vamp It Up. These are so good, you guys. They're only 99 cents. Like, come on. And then this one here is called Sandstorm. And I actually don't have this one. So here's what Sandstorm looks like. It's a very interesting brown color. It's almost like an orange brown and I don't have anything like this in my collection so I wanted to throw this in here really quickly because at Dollar uh, Dollar Tree they had the wet n wild brushes there so if you've been looking for these brushes you guys and you can't find them anywhere else definitely check out Dollar Tree these are the wet n wild brushes and I picked up a few of these because I do like the eyeshadow brushes I think they work pretty darn well they're okay for what they are they're dollar you can't go wrong. I just had to throw that out there. They're at Dollar Tree. <laughs> I also picked this up at a whim. This is really random because this is a collective haul. I got this at Rite Aid and this is one of the mega liners. This is part of their spring collection and I don't have a white liquid eyeliner. So I thought I would pick it up and so far I really do like it. The applicator is a sponge. It is not a brush which is odd because I could have swore that these had a brush applicator and not a sponge. Um, but it's very pigmented for what it is and I've been having a lot of fun with like playing with these and doing different looks so I definitely want to use this in different tutorials and whatnot and get really creative. Alright moving on to Meyer. You guys know I love my Meyer store here in Michigan so I picked up a few things from NYX that I've been trying to find for a long time now. This is the NYX lip liner. This is the number 810 natural. This is the one that everybody and their mama raved about for so, so long. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to get it and try it out. It is a really pretty color. And unfortunately, this is way, way darker than I was thinking. Like, this is a brown lip liner. And for some reason, whenever I see it on anyone else, it looks like a pinky nude. But this is brown. So I was really let down with this color. I kind of regret getting it because the formula is really dry. It tugs at your lips these ones no i also picked up the nyx blush hd blush in taupe which i have been loving to contour with you guys know i mentioned this in my may my april may beauty obsessions and it is life if you have pale skin or you are looking for a really taupey colored uh contour shade this is awesome it's better than the original highly recommend you guys get this it's really really good this is from Black Radiance Cosmetics, and it's their Artesian Color Bait Blush. This stood out to me so much, and I just had to have it. And this is in the color Plum Sorbet. This is the color. It's so pretty. It's like this really satin, shimmery, plummy, purple pink. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. That's the swatch right there. Isn't that pretty? It does have a sheen to it, but look. Oh my god. Black Radiance is cruelty free. They're uh, kind of in the same family of Wet n Wild under the same umbrella. <laughs> Alright, the last two things that I picked up at Meyer. These are the NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks. I know that so many people hate these, but I love them. I love the formula. It reminds me so much of the satin, ultra satin lipsticks from ColourPop. It's such a similar formula and they're just so comfortable. I picked up this beautiful bright purple. You guys know I love my purples. And I don't have a lavender liquid to matte lipstick. I don't have one. This one is called Sway. Sway. So there's that color. They do dry down to a kind of satin matte finish. Oh, and this one. Oh, I've been wanting this one for so long and it's always sold out. This is vintage and it's a really dark plummy color. This is the perfect like reddish brown color for fall or whenever you want to rock a dark lip like the one I am wearing now. Oh, love these. All right guys, moving on. I placed an order with iKateHouse.com. I love this website. I'll put it down below. But I love ordering from there because you can find things that I can't find in a store like LA Girl Cosmetics. Uh, they do have NYX. They have a little bit a little bit of elf a little bit of everything i've i've bought from them before and i love their website uh, this is the professional brow shapers these are awesome i use these all the time to like shave off the fuzzies or to shape the brows love these i think they're only like two or three bucks super affordable 
I also ordered backups of my favorite Holy Grail uh, nail products like my nail base, my top coats and all that stuff. So these are the LA Girl Calcium Nail Builders. I got two of them and also two of the LA Girl Hydrating uh, Base Coat, which is my favorite. And also I got the LA Colors Nail Polish Remover Pads. This is in the scent Strawberry. These are really, really good, you guys. Now you do have to work a little extra hard to remove your polish. This does not work on glitter, but for just regular polish, these are awesome. They're only like a dollar each and you get 32 pads and they really do smell good. Like they do smell like strawberry. So I love these. I have the one in grape and I use them all the time. So I wanted to take a plunge and I went ahead and ordered the LA Colors. They just came out with their liquid to matte lipsticks. There are 11 shades and I ordered the entire pack. That's another thing I really love about the iKate House website. You can buy things in a bundle and save a lot of money. I'm not going to tell you what I think about them just yet because I plan on doing a dedicated review. So stay tuned for that and look how cute. Like they all come in these pretty, pretty colors. So get ready. And of course, I had to order my favorite concealer. It is the only one that I use. Literally, it's the only one I use and like. It's the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I got just one in the shade, this is the shade Light Ivory. I like to use this to kind of color correct the darkness underneath my eyes. I actually used it today, but this is just a backup because I go through it like crazy. With the LA Girl Concealers, you can get a pack of three. You can actually order the entire bundle, like the shade range, which would be kind of crazy. But if you are a makeup artist, these are amazing. Full coverage, long wearing, it's been my holy grail for the past couple of years and I can't find anything else that's better or just as good. I saw Candy Johnson mention this in one of her videos, it's the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. So I went ahead and ordered it because guess what, it's sold out everywhere. I actually have not used this yet. I have swatched it and it does look very pigmented, very black. Um, the applicator is just a brush applicator, really nice fine and pointed but look at that look how pigmented super opaque and it does dry completely matte i have some liquid liners like the elf precision i love it but it doesn't dry matte it's like super shiny so i'm hoping that this is really good i hope the hype is real all right guys moving on i have a couple things from target and walmart so from walmart i actually have had these for quite a while and i'm so mad at myself i put them away in a drawer found them again with all of the other stuff that's brand new <laughs> and these are the new wet n wild O natural palettes and you can only get these at walmart so i was on the hunt i finally found them so here's what nude awakening looks like this one has a lot of uh rosy pinky tones it's got a really nice matte black this beautiful like reddish color here amazing quality like wet n wild always does they are so good. Here's just a few swatches. Do you see that pigmentation? Like they are legit. If you guys want to see like some looks using this, these palettes, please let me know. I know I, I've, I've been lacking on the tutorials and whatnot lately, but really good palette. I think these were $3.99 or $5. I can't remember. Right, so I only picked up these two things at Target. <laughs> And these are from the brand Pixie. Now you guys know Pixie is cruelty free, but I've been wanting to try more of their products since I did the swap with Caitlin and she got me one of their palettes and I just fell in love. So they had some stuff on clearance and I went, I wanted to go crazy, but I didn't. I might try to go back and see if they have more, but oh my God, I found some really good things. So the first thing I got here is a foundation and I'm thinking about doing like a first impression because I haven't done that with a foundation in a long time. This is their Flawless Vitamin Veil Foundation. I got the shade Fair. It was the last one, you guys. Originally $24, I got it for 12 bucks. Look at that. Score, ding, 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 ding. It comes with the cutest, most adorable packaging ever. Like, come on, it's got a little fairy on it. I love whimsical fantasy things. I'm a kid, what can I say? It comes with a mirror, and here's the color. I think this color is going to match me really, really nicely. It's a nice tone. It's not too yellow. It's not too pink. So hopefully this will work. I think it'll work. Hey, I want to do, like, let me know if you guys want to see a first impression on this, because 
I'm really excited and curious about that foundation. All right, and I also found this eyeshadow palette. This was originally, oh no, I ripped it off. It was originally $12 and I got it for $6. I don't know if you can see the tag here. It says $6 right here. And it was on clearance. And this is one of their eyeshadows. Mesmerizing Mineral Palette. And this is the color Rich Gold. The packaging is like, come on, Pixie. Oh, and it opens up this way, which is pretty cool. It's definitely very different. It does come with a sponge applicator, which is useful. Look at that really gorgeous colors i'm just like excited here's just a couple swatches down my arm <laughs> so professional right <laughs> so yeah i'm really excited to give this a try um i want to try more of their stuff i've heard that their uh setting sprays are really good so i definitely recommend you guys checking out pixie i think their products are really good quality and so far i'm really impressed all right next up we have this right here which i thought would be really cool to have when i need it <laughs> This is called the Beauty Spoon. Um, I guess what you use this for is like, say you're at the end of a foundation that has a pump. You can take this little spatula and scoop out the remaining product so that you're not being wasteful. So this is pretty awesome. I'll have to put it to the test and see. <laughs> it was only like a two or three bucks. This is the Hard Candy um, 12 Hour Hydrating Primer Mist. I have just been dying to find a really good primer for my dry skin and I'm always interested in trying something like this. What really intrigued me is that it's oil free, silicone free, and alcohol free. I really don't like silicone based primers. They always clog my pores and make me break out so I try to stay away from that. So I'm hoping that this is really good. I really love their setting spray. I love hard candy in general. Let me know if you'd like to see like a first impressions on this or maybe just a review. Let me know. I'm really excited to give that a try. All right, guys, last but not least, these are from Flower Beauty. I picked up some new products. They are coming out with so many awesome things, and I'm just so excited. Now, they are kind of on the pricier side at Walmart, but her stuff is so good. I just have a good feeling about it. So this is their new foundation. It's called the Erase Everything Ultimate Foundation, and I thought, okay, if this is going to erase everything and my sins, then we need to just, we need to use this now. This is definitely going to be a little too dark for me. I'm hoping I can make it work, but I have a feeling it's going to be too dark. So we'll have to do a first impressions on this and give it a try. I love doing like a wear test on foundations and giving you guys my feedback. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you want a review on that guy. This is the daily brightening concealer it's an under eye cover cream so i wanted to give this a try because i've heard really good things about it again i picked the lightest shade which is db1 again the really weird numbers so i'm hoping this will work it has a roller ball at the end so i'm hoping this will be good to cancel out dark circles and give coverage all right and the last two products here i picked up a new brow product they came out with this is the um all-in-one brow mascara i did pick the light medium shade it only comes in two shades which is kind of a bummer but i'm hoping that this will be a great like all-in-one mascara i don't know it looks really cool i've never seen anything like it before it has like this really cool comb on the end and it has the gold packaging and it just looks really fancy i love the flower packaging they're so so on point with packaging for sure also from flower this is their long wear lip cream. I'm hoping that this is like their version of a long wearing like liquid to matte lipstick. I don't know, we'll have to find out. It has a soft angled tip applicator. And I don't know, maybe this will be a good dupe for the, oh, the ones from Too Faced, the, the cream, cream liquid ones. I can't think of what it's called, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So I picked up the shade I'm Blushing. I only got one color. Just to try it out and see like the wear test and see if it's any good but it looks really pretty and they had a lot of different colors to choose from all right guys that is it that completes this collective haul i hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see a review on anything or anything that interests you or is there something i should be trying or have you tried any things that i've shown here today leave a comment down below and we can chat don't forget to follow me on instagram snapchat Twitter and Facebook. All of my links are down below in the description box. 
go follow me girl i love talking to you guys if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button it's completely free and i post new videos every tuesday friday and sometimes on sunday i will see you all in the next video remember smarter beauty is better beauty bye guys